If you asked me what my favorite genre for series is, I would say anything with crime. If no one dies, did you ever make a show, huh? Those are the questions I'm asking. For years, I don't think Nigeria has nailed investigative series. It's like that hot babe that everyone thinks is sticking. So when I heard about Dechi or Dechi, I don't know which one it is, I was very spectacle. I was on the edge. An investigative drama about someone who was murdered. I was scared. But I gave it a shot and I was massively impressed. The story of Dechi is one that really hits you. It starts off with a dead guy, so you know I was already hooked. The dead guy's name is Namdi, a movie producer who first comes across as a sweet man. But once you know he makes Anambra movies, you don't think he's sweet anymore. He is engaged to his love of his life, an actress and a newly made producer named Dechi. You see? She's the name of the series. Is it, son? She's producing and acting in this new movie. It's like an Anambra movie, I think. Yes! <laughs> His mysterious murder is now investigated by the best cop in the world named Kazim. And this guy does everything right. He is downright my favorite character with how serious he takes his job. He tampers with evidence and eats on the job. Ah, look at it. It's lunch break. And there's this booker by the traffic light that I need to see. So Kazim's life is turned upside down. He's used to being a loan inspector. But now a new inspector is assigned to the work. This is Inspector Jamal Nene. She will help you find the answers. Sir? She's a fresh transfer from FCID Abuja. She'll be working on this case with you. Because? Because I said so. And believe me, she's like his elder sister, always following the books. And let me just say it vexes me. Is that the murder weapon? Booker by the traffic light that I need to see. We're on a case. And we shouldn't eat, Abby. The first episode was mostly them establishing the story, and it was done in a nice way that explains some characters well, like her husband being possessive. He engaged Dechi in front of the crowd, not because he thought it was a special moment for both of them, but he knew people would record just to push his Anambra movie. Oh, there was also this scene. Dechi is not only the star actress on our new movie, She's also a producer. I just wanted to try something new. That's all. Come on, baby. Don't be modest, eh? Tell Uncle T everything about our new project, eh? Right now? If you don't find anything wrong with this encounter, then I feel you should break up with whoever you're dating. Dechi, on the other hand, might not be the person that killed him, but one thing we know is that she should be in the next Panador advert because her head, they always pain him. I don't even know how this is possible. <laughs> Hey, DJ. For Dechi, she had a ton of unexplained issues and it's not just her headache. We know she was with him the night of his mother. We also know Inamdi apologized for pushing her. I read the text. Yes, we were meant to read the text, you know now. Oh, she also got her car scratched with what seemed like a wolf. For other characters, I was impressed on how some were used from this guy named Silas. He was spoken about once. Why put her guessing us? What about Silas that traveled this morning? Did you go to the airport to hold him? Then he was shown to us minutes later. And for some reason, he did not look like a murderer. So I guess the killer was Paul. The joke was stolen, honestly. Silas without Paul. Congrats, man. Thank you. Thank we have Inamdi's mom. She is also a witch. I am not lying. From pouring white powder on his floor to giving him literal powers or na protection. I don't even know what it is. But she, his bracelet has a ton of powers. But then she was shocked that her bracelet that she gave him was not with him. Madam, if we find any bracelets, to be evidence. And we cannot release it until we're done with the investigation. <laughs> Oh, then we have this guy named Jimmy. He is seen as the friend of all party. He's friends with Inamdi. He's friends with Panador. He's friends with Paul. <laughs> but I was looking at him. I saw his eyes when Baba was pressing her neck. So when the inspector said this... And exactly how close is your relationship with Miss Ayang? We're good friends. Nothing more, nothing less. 
I knew he was sleeping with her. That one I could predict it from afar. When I have these feelings, I am always right. Like there's a lot this show does well. A lot of characters feel interested. Like I would love to see this man's origin story. Wouldn't you? Huh? With crime drama, the biggest tool is suspense. But smart one. Yes, everyone is a potential murderer, but it's how you turn the audience into investigators. That is what makes the show. I found myself looking at everyone's facial expression, thinking I would be able to predict the killer from episode 1. I know that is a bad thing, but leave me to do my own conclusion, guys. And I've concluded that the person that killed him is this lady. Yes, I said it. <laughs> the episode ends with an unknown man um, doing what I don't even know. So yeah, that was episode 1. I watched it on Showmax and I think you probably should if you want me to review more. I think episode 2 is already out. So check it out if you want me to review more. Like this video and also comment who you think the murderer is. I still stand by my words. I think it's that babe. I don't like how blurry she looks. She looks like a criminal. Oh, 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 oh,